Hey folks, welcome to another video. This one should be quick because it's just something very small that I felt like sharing. Uh, so I've been working the, this past weeks or couple of months with Google Cloud. Uh, and I've been building some APIs and stuff like that. And I'm using uh, Google Cloud Run to host this API. So it's a serverless offering where we can deploy uh, containers. And do not just expose it to the, the internet. I'm putting an API gateway in front to handle all the common things that the API gateways handle for our APIs. And when setting things up, I noticed that uh, when we want to configure the API gateway to, to use the API, we need to create a configuration using uh, an open API or Swagger document. So that's what I did. But then I noticed that they expect something that I didn't know exists to be part of it. And as you can see, this is an open API document. It's in YAML uh, format. That's besides the point. It can be YAML or JSON. It's all good. But the thing that I didn't expect was this part. So X Google backend. So when I saw this, I was like, what? What is this? My first reaction was uh, Google being Google and doing stuff because I never saw this. Uh, but granted, I never really studied the Open OpenAPI spec in depth. It's, it has always been like, I need something. I try to understand what how to do it. So. Then I tried to look how to add custom properties and stuff like that, or better yet, my first reaction was just grab the, the, the document that Swashbuckle, uh, the library I'm using with uh, ASP.NET Core to generate the, the document. I was just downloading the document and let's put it here manually. But of course that, that's not good for the long term because we want to automate stuff and stuff like that. So doing things manually is not the way forward. So then I started to look at how would I do this using Swashbuckle. But uh, as I didn't know this, I didn't even know that this had a name. And you guessed by the name of the video that this is something called an open API extension. So an open API extension is, uh, allows us to create custom properties that start with an X dash. And we can put things in there uh, that the uh, open API spec doesn't provide out of the box. And it's apparently used for, for example, to by vendors, like they mentioned here, Amazon API Gateway. So apparently I have exactly the same thing with Google API Gateway and other things. So we can put anything in there, any objects. So it can just be directly like a string or it can be like complex objects. And so this is what we needed. And because I didn't know this exists, I didn't even know how to search for how to do this with Swashbuckle. But after knowing the name, OK, then now it's easier to get things done. So just to show you how this is not particularly interesting to the implementation is rather easy. But just in case you have the same problem as me and didn't know this existed. So I have here, like uh, I just did a .NET new web. So this is the default uh, Swagger. Uh, that it's generated. In fact, okay, it's not the default because we need to add the Swagger part, the Swashbuckle part, but this is generated for the default API that, that's in there, that's just the yellow world. And if we take a look at the Swagger, we see that nothing relevant here. So how do we add that um, X backend stuff? So I have this running here. I can stop it. And I created it here already. So let me just add, add it over here and show you. Basically, it's just you create an iDocument filter. And then we can, you can add more logic as you prefer. But in this case, we just grab the document, call add extension, give it a name which needs to be X stuff. 
and then we provide it the value which can be an object can be a string directly whatever in this case it's an object with address because i i only showed you this but there are other things that in the future i'll probably need so it needs to be a complex object and that's basically basically it just do this it's rather easy it's just hard because if we don't know what to search for we don't know what we need to do but yeah pretty easy so then we configure here the document filter and if we run this again let's go and we go back here and now you see it's here we have the the entry and this is at document level but we can do it doesn't need to be just at document level so I can show you you could also do other things like grab this and configure here so you can put it at operation level or schema level and I can show you and you can do all of this so add an extension to an operation add some information an object with an array with random stuff that I'm putting here just to show you that you can do whatever. Same for schemas and also for parameters, request bodies and so on. So you can do a lot. So if I start this again, let's go here and here we are. So at the operation level, we have this here. So at the level of this operation. And at the level of the schema, for example, the response type is also some schema extension stuff. So you can put it in a lot of places, probably using some logic. I just shove things here randomly just to show you this working. But yeah, just, just so you know that this is a thing. And if you need to do it, it's easy to do it. And then you can do whatever because you're in the concept context of these filters you can check the operation and have a bunch of information that you can use and yeah then if i show you the the ui nothing shows up because that's the point the spec can't interpret it so it doesn't show in the ui maybe there's a way to to do some custom things in the ui to show it it wasn't something i needed so in the UI shows nothing, but here things show up. So then I can grab this uh, Swagger document and use it to configure the, the API gateway in Google Cloud. And yeah, that's it. Just wanted to share this quickly, just so you know that this is a thing and hope it's useful at some point. As you know, the drill to help out the channel, likes, subscribes, share with folks, stuff like that, comments, you know the drill. Thanks for watching. See you.